In 2022, there were 67 attempts to ban books here in Illinois. Books about coming of age and mental health. Books about LGBTQ plus kids and teens. Books about the black experience and racism. Renowned classics like The Kite Runner and To Kill a Mockingbird. This is not the first time in history that we've seen this. The United States has gone through periods of protests against works by authors like Charles Darwin and Mark Twain and J.D. Salinger. The argument for banning books always begins with the claim that it's about protecting the children. And yes, of course, we all want to protect our children so they're reading age-appropriate material. But banning books from libraries isn't about that at all. Book bans are about censorship marginalizing people, marginalizing ideas and facts. Regimes ban books, yes. not democracies. Yes. Nazi Germany, fascist Italy, the Taliban's Afghanistan. We refuse to let a vitriolic strain of white nationalism coursing through our country determine whose histories are told, not in Illinois. This is the land of Lincoln, the home state of the first black president. Illinois was the first state in the nation to ratify the 13th Amendment, abolishing slavery. We were the first state in the nation to ratify the 19th Amendment, guaranteeing women the right to vote. And in a few moments, Illinois will become the first state in the nation to officially ban book bans once and for all.